So one feature a lot of us are hoping for in the new Apple Watch Series 7 is the blood glucose monitor. However, we've had a new report come in confirming if we will get a blood glucose monitor or not in 2021 for the new Apple Watch. Today, I want to share with you all the latest about this and also a summary of features and of course the latest on the Apple Watch 7 release date and price. Hi, it's Matt here. So over the last years, the Apple Watch has grown from an accessory for your iPhone to a great counterpart for your iPhone instead. We now have the option to buy one or three models and this includes the older Series 3, a well-rounded SE model and the state-of-the-art Series 6 at the moment. However, in the fall of this year, we're going to be getting the new Series 7 and it seems likely the new lineup for Apple will be the SE, the Series 6 and the new Series 7 going forwards. The Series 7 though is looking to be getting some great new features and also a brand new design. So for everyone who watches my videos or even if you are new here, in these videos I'm going to give you the latest details of specific leaks and reports, then details of the planned release date and then a summary of the models that are going to be released with all their features that we've learnt in previous leaks. After I'm going to reveal my wish list for the next Apple Watch but also put in the comments below what features you'd like to see in the next Apple Watch and in my next video I may feature your comment and discuss my thoughts around it. So let's jump in with that report about the blood glucose monitor. So I'm going to be honest from reading this new report it might be bad news about this feature for this year. According to a recent Bloomberg report the Apple Watch 7 might skip on a blood glucose reading sensor and that could be a deal breaker for some smart watch shoppers in the next year. A lot of us have been quite attracted to this new blood glucose monitoring feature in the Series 7, including myself to be fair. We have been advised that this new feature could monitor your blood sugar levels even just through your skin, what is pretty remarkable to be honest. As a CDC's National Diabetes Statistics report that was done in 2020 found that 34.2 million Americans, so that's basically 1 in 10 Americans have diabetes. If that's a shock to you, about 1 in 3 American adults have pre-diabetes. That is a huge amount of the USA's population, not alone at talking about the world's numbers so for Apple to miss out on this opportunity would be pretty bad however if we don't get this feature it is still becoming more clear that Apple will probably be more focusing on performance and design instead that we have seen in other leaks this also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they will come true in the new Apple Watch 7. I can only present to you what I have been told or what I have been shown, like I'm showing you right here. However, if you're watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next Apple Watch anyway. So next is the release date. In past years, Apple has announced the Apple Watch alongside the iPhone, with the two devices available for purchase around the same time. 2020 though, that changed and we actually had the release of the Apple Watch in September ahead of the iPhone 12 which came out in October and November time. With the success of the virtual events that Apple did last year, it is likely Apple will want to separate the Apple Watch again due to the big success. With the Apple Watch 6 coming out on September 18th last year, and then the year before that, the Apple Watch 5 coming out on September 20th, and then the 4 in 2018, it came out on September 21st, and they were all Fridays, you can see that the date for the Apple Watch Series 7 will most likely be September 17th, or possibly a week later on September 24th in 2021, with an event or a virtual event happening a few days before. Also, if you want to know more about those Apple events and when they're going to happen and more news on other products from Apple like the iPhone 13, the new um, Apple Silicon Macs, AirPods and iPads, make sure to check out my other videos on this channel and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So right now, this channel is doing a giveaway at the moment and it is for this. It is for a MacBook Pro M1. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 200,000 subscribers. So if you want to be in a chance to get your hands on this MacBook Pro, all I'd like to know from you guys in the comments below is what Apple gear do you plan to get in 2021? Maybe you're planning on getting a new iPhone or a MacBook or even an iPad, for example. 
let me know in the comments below. And when we get over 200,000 subscribers, I will be revealing who the winner is. But make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, because when we get over that 200,000 mark, you'll want to get the notification of that video of when I announce who the winner is, and it could be you. At the same time as well, you're feeling good and generous, hit that like button at the same time for this video. With the latest leaks and release date out of the way, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted the picture for the details of the Apple Watch Series 7. So then, like previous years, we'll be getting two different size models, and that will be a 40mm and a 44mm LTPO OLED screen on the actual Apple Watches. And this will have a 1000 nit brightness as well. We're also going to be getting a whole new design, a much more flatter design, what resembles the look of say the iPad Air, the iPad Pro and also the iPhone 12s. We're going to be getting this time, according to latest leaks basically that have been coming out, a choice between a 32GB and a 64GB storage option. And this is probably generally to store kind of more photos and maybe even download some music as well onto your Apple Watch for on the go. But there will also be that new processor inside it, the S7. And also we're looking likely to be getting a U2, an updated ultra wide band chipset put inside the Apple Watch. And we're also going to be probably getting Bluetooth 6.0 and the possibility of 5G connectivity inside the Apple Watch Series 7. But again, we'll have to wait on some more leaks and rumors to confirm this is actually going to be the case. One leak or rumour that we've heard quite a lot about is there's going to be a new glucose monitoring sensor in the Apple Watch 7. And this will be able to detect your glucose levels just through the skin, through the sensor underneath the Apple Watch. And I know a lot of people are really hopeful that this does come true with the new 7 series. Again, the actual main body will be made out of aluminium, stainless steel and also an option of a titanium body, depending on which type of option of the Apple Watch Series 7 that you want to pick. There has also been some leaks and rumours going around that the Touch ID button on the side of the Apple Watch will be very similar to the one on the iPad Air, where it will actually have a Touch ID sensor built inside of it. And this will be a first for the Apple Watch Series 7. Then for battery life, it's going to be promising an all-day battery, what is up to 18 hours according to Apple's website. Now prices can be a little bit complicated because it depends on if you want to pick yourself an aluminium, stainless steel, or titanium body and also what kind of watch strap you also pick with your Apple Watch Series 7. But for starting prices, we're going to do it with the actual storage options and the actual size of the screen. So starting with the 14mm screen option with 30 two gigabytes of storage inside it this will start at 399 us dollars and then the 64 gigabyte version will be 449 us dollars then for the 44 millimeter screen the 32 gigabyte option will start at 429 us dollars and then the 64 gigabyte model at 479 dollars so that is a summary of the new apple watch 7 however for my thoughts and wishes my wish is actually to put a selfie camera in the Apple Watch. Now hear me out on this one, it would just be a small 720p one. The reason is if you had a phone call on your Apple Watch or if you've ever had one before, you will know you have to kind of lift your arm up to talk into it. So for me it kind of makes sense to put a kind of a camera in it as well. Or even if you're sitting or lying down at the moment, for example with the iPhone, you still have to hold it in your hand. So why not just hold up your arm with the Apple Watch with a small camera inside it. Maybe Apple could also angle the camera in a way that it wouldn't shoot right up your nose either. But let me know your thoughts and if you agree with this or disagree with this and write in the comments below what your wishes would be for the new Apple Watch 7. Well guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure to like the video and at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you soon.